Oh, spirits of the air, work through these gnarled old hands and tell Tabitha if she has anything to fear. Incense. Then take a pill. Oh, just be quiet, Timmy. This is important. Oh, spirit board, tell me if we're still in danger. <coughs> no news is good news, Timmy. <laughs> the board would tell us if we still had to fear Grace Bennett's twin sister and her daughter. <coughs> We've won. Time to celebrate. Let's go and stomp on somebody's flower garden. Now that's nothing compared to what I've got in store for Grace Bennett and her family. And now there's nothing to protect them from me. Okay, Elizabeth Bennett. What were you just talking about? Me? Just now? Um, if you don't remember, I can fill in mom and dad. Well, somebody better tell me and fast. Well, you know how much I look up to Kay since she's my older sister. I learn a lot by listening to her. And that's what your mother and I are afraid of. Your sister Kay is a very bright young woman, but one daughter who gets herself involved in outlandish crazy schemes is enough. That goes for you too, Simone. I don't think you want me to talk to your father about Oh, no, Mr. Bennett. Please don't. As for you, Kay, your father and I will speak to you tonight. Do you have any idea what that was about? I don't know. All I heard was Kay said something about some guys thought she was a gay football player. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jessica. That's just one more crime to add to my list. I'm not scared of your stupid old grudge Well, list. you should be, because it keeps getting longer. Lucky for you, I'm working on my plan to get Miguel today. Oh, Luis, <laughs> you left your keys by the front door. All right, you're right. I'll see you later, bro. All right. I owe you, Miguel. No kidding. I feel lousy in letting Luis go on thinking you still have your job in the cannery. What did he say? I mean, all he talks about is how proud he is of you. How you've finally grown up and seen the light. He's not going to take it very well when he finds out you've lost another job because of Ethan. I know. What is it with your brother Luis and the Crane family anyway? He's hated them as long as I can remember. Just hearing their name is like waving a red flag in front of him. I'm beginning to think he has a point. I don't buy his theory that the Cranes has something to do with Papa's disappearance. Mama doesn't either. Maybe she just doesn't want to accept it. Well, it still doesn't give Luis the right to try to run our lives. Uh, you can tell him that when he finds out about your job. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get another job before Luis finds out I'm not the cannery. And just how are you going to do that? Nobody's hiring. Maybe Ethan will help me after he understands that last night was just an accident like all the other times. You're crazy. Teresa, what makes you think Ethan Crane would do anything to help you? He probably thinks you're stalking him. I'm not so sure about that. All my dreams tell me Ethan's gonna marry me. And don't forget the fortune teller at the carnival. I wish I could. I can't believe we're back to this. Okay, I did get a little discouraged when I thought Ethan was engaged when Hotch gets, but he's not. He's free, which is all the sign I need to know that someday he's gonna be mine. <sighs> now I wonder why I ever doubted it. Even for a minute. Yeah, okay, thanks. Canary Foreman's off today, and nobody seems to know the name of the girl who attacked me last night. She's brand new, hadn't even filled out her paperwork. Isn't it kind of strange that she knew you were going to be there last night? Yeah, but what else is new? Everything that girl has done has been strange. Ugh, who knows what drives a person like that? Well, you can be damn sure I'm going to ask her once I find her, before I put her away for psychiatric observation. Maybe we can drive through town this morning and look for her. Mm, aren't you forgetting about a prior engagement? Shoot. That contest you wrote me into at the carnival. <laughs> mm, what swimsuit are you going to wear? You can pick. <laughs> what kind of competition is it that wants you to wear a bathing suit anyway? Must be some sort of swim meet. Mm. 
How about these? If you like them. <laughs> well, I like them very much. But I think we need to try them on to see if they still fit. They might be too small. Wicked, wicked girl. <laughs> Open the door. Tell me exactly what happened last night, Mom. After you went to bed, there was a scratching at the front door. It was probably just a tree branch or something. No. It was the sound of claws digging to get in. And it was getting louder and faster, and it, it was evil, Charity. And it was trying to get in our house. What kind of evil, Mom? <sighs> It's the kind of evil that goes back hundreds of years. Evil can take on all different sorts of faces, Charity, but it's always there. And now it knows where we live. You mean where everyone lives? No. I mean us. I mean you and me. And I have to do everything I can to protect you. But you do, Mom. And sometimes I think too much. I worry that you take all your religious beliefs a little too far. I don't believe there's anything out there that wants to hurt us. Well, that's because you're young and you don't know. Yeah, well, I'm not too young to know some things. Like how yesterday at the carnival was the best time I've ever had. And you know why? Because we weren't hiding from all the evil. We were out in the world having fun like normal people. That's what we're supposed to be doing, Mom. Not cowering in here behind all these crosses and angel figures. Oh, sweetie, I know you won't have much of a social life being only here with me. But we live the way we do for your sake. Yeah, I know you think that, Mom. But I'm so lonely that I can't stand it anymore. I... I want to meet people my own age, like the ones yesterday at the carnival. Please, can we at least go back there today? All right, we'll go to the carnival, but only for the day. We have to be back before night. Okay, whatever you say. I'll go change. <laughs> be something out there? No. Hmm. Scratch marks. <laughs> what kind of a claw is that? Simone, would you mind helping me with the guys over here? For you, Kay? I'll try. <laughs> but, this is just a thought. Could we do this every week? <sighs> Don't forget, Simone. This is about me getting Miguel. Once that's a done deal, you work on finding a cute guy for yourself. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> Reese? It's Jessica. Can you come over to the carnival? Uh-huh. I want to give you the details on your big date tonight. And, and don't forget, it's our secret. Wait till Kay finds out who she's really going to end up with tonight. You guys might as well go home. The Lopez Fitzgerald brothers are here. We're ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So where's your mom? My mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, she had a lot of stuff to do at home. She asked me to run the contest. Mm -hmm. How far is the swim? Is it a relay? Well, not exactly. Um, in fact, you'll be glad to know you don't even have to get wet. Just oiled. I don't get it. Why'd you tell us to bring our swimsuits? Well, um... So what kind of contest is this, anyway? Oh, don't look now, Miguel. 
We've been had. Mr. Harmony Hunk. Uh, forget it. Sorry, girls. You got the wrong guys. Come on, bro. Uh, no, you can't leave. It'll disappoint my mother so much. You know how much it means to have the carnival be a success? Come on, let me get this straight. Your mother, Grace Bennett, actually planned a hunk contest? I know. It's weird. But she was adamant about this. I think she might be going through the change. <laughs> and I know my father, your boss, would appreciate you humoring my mom. You're not playing fair now, Kay. The Bennett's are good people, Luis. Maybe it won't be so bad. I still don't like it. No, I don't like it either, bro. But it's for charity, right? Every penny. You can change with the other guys over there. I'll be glad to put the oil on your bodies. I mean, if you need help. No, I think we can manage. Hey. Don't forget, this is about me getting Miguel first. Then we'll work on finding someone for you. There's only one contestant who hasn't shown up. That Ethan guy? If you call Ethan Crane, it'll be the biggest mistake of your life, Teresa. I'm sure once I explain to Ethan everything, it'll be all right. Uh, yes, hello, hi. Um, may I speak with Ethan Crane, please? He's not. Oh. No, that's okay. It'll be all right. I'll, I'll try back later. Thanks. I wonder where he is. What happened to that innocent baby we brought home from the hospital? Kay has always been a handful, but I love her spirit. You call it spirit, I call it mischief. When I was her age, I didn't get into half the amount of trouble she's managed to get herself into. What about you? I'm sorry. I don't know, it's okay. I wish I knew what I was like as a teenager. And maybe Kay's just like me. Or maybe I have a sister and Kay's just like her. I would give anything to know if I have a family. I haven't stopped looking. Yeah, I know. I just, I keep thinking about that person on the internet, the one named Seeker who contacted you. you know, it seemed like they knew me. I don't know why they broke off contact with me. I mean, I've been back to the missing person's chat room, but as far as I know, they haven't been back. Look, what do you say we check it out right now? I mean, maybe today will be our lucky day to finally find out about your past. It's so big. It must have been a raccoon or something. What else could it be? Ready. I checked outside, Mom. I told you not to, Charity. But I didn't want you to worry. I'm sure I was right before. It was probably just a little animal looking for some food or something. I hope you're right. You're thinking about your twin sister, huh? I would give anything to know where she is. We'll find her someday, Mom. But we better hurry if we're gonna make the bus to Harmony. Okay, I'm just gonna grab my laptop. Might do some work while we're traveling. Whatever you say. Hey, keep your greedy mitts off. Those are two favorites. Well, there's graham crackers in the pantry. I'm taking these homemade ones over to Grace's. Are you both in a grocery store? Mm. That's because the only thing I know how to bake is devil's food cake. <laughs> Get it, Timmy? <laughs> Timmy's tired. Timmy's going to take a nap. What's the matter with you, you pokey little runt? Huh? Iron poor blood. You only just got up. I'm still trying to get over what that girl and her mother put me through yesterday. This is the missing person's chat room where the person called Seeker responded to my message about you. So it's kind of like a telephone call party line. You got it. 
Anybody ever tell you you are a regular computer whiz? Mm. Not lately. I just wish that Seeker was in the chat room today. Hello? Anybody home? Tabitha. Be nice. Come on in, Tabitha. There you are, dears. I, I brought you a little plate of goodies. <laughs> Thank you. You shouldn't have. Just my little way of saying how much I appreciate my wonderful next-door neighbors. Hope you like them. I'm sure we will. They're Sam's favorite, aren't they, Sam? Mm. Very good. Well, if you both excuse me, I have some things to do upstairs. So, tell me about your girls. You know I'm so fond of them. They're great. No, I mean, that is when they're not busy being two little witches. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure my mother said that about me when I was their age. <laughs> Oh, you've got one of these. Huh. Oh, what are they called? Computers? I mean, I don't really know much about it. Uh, Sam was giving me a lesson. Hmm, is that right? Oh, I've never seen one up close before. I'm hoping it'll uncover something about my past. Oh, yes. Such a tragedy that you can't remember the first 20 years of your life. You know, Sam did find someone on there, though. Their name was Seeker, and they seemed to know me. That's what we were doing when you came in. Trying to reconnect with them. I don't know, Charity. I don't want to know. <laughs> Only 20 more minutes. Are you counting the minutes until you see Harmony again, or somebody special that lives there? It was a nice town, Mom. And? Okay. So, there was a boy there, but we barely talked. He probably doesn't even remember meeting me. Hmm. My little girl was growing up. What's her name, little brother? Whose name? Girl, put that stupid smile on your face. I know all the signs. Would you believe I don't even know her name? Oh, that's lame. Obviously, I haven't been paying close enough attention to the amazing technique of your older brother. Grammy some oil. No, 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 not that stuff. What's the matter with it? That's old Coach Clark's cure-all. Sore muscles, I mean, remember? People complained of an ache or pain, he would rub that liniment on them. This is the stuff? Yeah. Oh man, I remember. It would go on nice and cool and catch fire. Uh, you'd be in so much agony from the liniment, you forget you're aching back. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, try this. There's enough there for you and me. Just tell me about this girl whose name you don't know. She's beautiful. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Man, you've been bitten. That's love. Really? You ever been in love, Louise? Yeah, lots of times. Well, it wasn't the kind of love that people marry for. All right, nobody needs to wear these. Because nobody's beaten the Lopez Fitzgerald, brother! Yeah! 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 Mr. Harmony Hunk? Sorry, I don't think so. Oh, Ethan, come on, be a sport. It's to raise money for charity. You really want me to strut around in front of strangers in my bathing suit? Mm, well, I can think of worse ways of spending a couple of hours. You're a great help, Gwen. <laughs> I understand. You're afraid of losing. Losing? I don't think so. What do I change? Over there. Don't forget to put on some body oil before you come back. What? Oh, stop acting so shocked. <clears throat> Try and enjoy this as much as I'm going to. Besides, I've always wanted to sleep with a muscle man. Well, in that case, see you later. <laughs> And how about we get some really good front row seats? Okay. I see Josie over there. I'll be right back. And Teresa, do not try to call Ethan again while I'm gone. Don't worry, Whitney. Josie! What took you so long, Teresa? The contest is about to start. Oh, I just need another minute. Do you know where there's a phone? Can it wait? I need you to go check on the guys and make sure they're wearing their sashes before they come on. The locker room's right over there. Okay.
Come on, guys. Suck in those beer bellies. We're on. Let's get it. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, if it isn't Ethan Crane. And if it isn't the handcuff happy cop. Well, minus his uniform. Don't tell me you're in this too. Doing a friend a favor. What's your excuse? Didn't know what I was signing up for. And the best man win. Thank you. I will. Hello? Is anyone still in here? Uh, only me. I'll be out in a minute. Okay, but hurry up. The contest is about to start and I have a really important phone call to make. I'll be right there. Wish I could connect with that missing person's chat room. Maybe the person who was asking about Grace is back. You really think they were talking about your sister? Positive. I mean, the only thing I'm not certain about is whether or not I can trust them if I do find them again. It could be a trick. One of your forces of evil? It's not a joke, Charity. Ugh, well, real or not, I don't want to think about that right now. Okay, I'll have time enough to talk about that later. For now, I want you to gather up as many happy memories as you can. And remember them later when things get hard. Mom, you promised we were just gonna have fun today. Look, we're almost at the carnival. You two didn't have to walk me home. Oh, it's no trouble at all, Tabitha. And thanks again for the lovely homemade cookies. Oh, any time. Mm. I hope you like them, Sam. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> well, have a good time at the carnival. Oh, you're not going to stop by? No, I think I'll stay home today and rest these old bones. <laughs> all right. Mm. I'll take care. Bye-bye now. Homemade cookies, my badge. They're store bought. That's a different Sam. It's a thought that counts. She's a strange bird. Well, she's a little old and eccentric, but she's harmless. <laughs> Goody two shoes, Bennett. No way am I going to let Grace make contact with her twin sister on that computer. If I have to. I'll give a virus to the entire internet. Lazy good-for-nothing doll. The following program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes of sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. Again, just keep saying it over and over. Sheridan Crane will never fall in love again. Sheridan Crane means nothing to me. It's you I love. The 
So when's this thing gonna start, Kat? Any minute now, Miguel. Look at that body, Simone. Yum. His brother Luis looks pretty good too. Maybe I'll pick him as a runner-up. Miguel is going to win the first prize. Dinner with a surprise date. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Kay. When you first came up with this idea for the contest, I didn't think you could pull it off. Well, you should know by now, Simone. When I want something, I get it. I want Miguel, and I will have him. Tonight. Hey, you want some more of this oil, Luis? That's a regular oil, right? Not that liniment you gave me back in the locker room? It's regular stuff. Good, because that liniment's like liquid fire after a couple minutes. That, that should do it. There's no way Ethan Crane's beating the Lopez Fitzgerald brothers in this contest. What are you talking about? Ethan Crane's in this contest. You're kidding. No, I just ran into him going into the locker room. I'll be right back. Luis just told me Ethan Crane's one of the contestants. What? Oh my gosh, I've got to find Teresa. My sister's here? Oh my god, you got to get her home fast. I mean, if those two meet, who knows what could happen. And with Luis here, just find her, Whitney. Okay. I need a favor. Could you pour some of that body oil on my back? Guess so. It took you long enough to get ready. I told you I have a really important phone call to make. Gee, I'm really sorry. It's not like I want to be here in the first place. Ethan. Hmm. Wouldn't it be amazing if I did have a sister and we actually found her? Who knows? Maybe that person on the internet who seemed to know you will contact me again. Yeah. God, if they do know me, they can help me fill in all the missing years about my past. Where is he? Charity? Yes, Mom? You're looking for that boy you met yesterday. I know it's silly. He's probably not even here. Hey, Kay. Do you know what Teresa is? Oh, she's doing something for me. She'll be back soon. I gotta get backstage. Can you find Whitney for me? It's important. Okay. Uh, and keep an eye out for that girl I told you about last night. I'd rather keep an eye on you, Miguel. As for that girl, don't worry. I know exactly what to do if I see her. Ah, oh, my favorite show. I love Endora. Where's the damn volume control? Timmy, shh, bewitched is on. Shush yourself. Timmy's trying to sleep. And what was that noise? Timmy doesn't know what you're talking about. Listen, you little rug rat, don't you hear that? Oh, no. Not again. It's them.
Listen up, guys. You'll be walking out over here on my right. I want you to walk across the stage and look at the audience for five to ten seconds. Give them a really nice flex and a big smile, and then turn around very slowly. Be sure you give them the whole 360. Then you'll walk off on the right. No way is Ethan Crane gonna walk out of here with that first prize. Not with the big bad no pants Fitzgerald brothers strutting their stuff. Right. You know, I'm looking forward to winning just so I can see the look on his face when he loses. Whatever floats your boat, man. Not to mention, it'll be a great way to celebrate Teresa's getting over her crush on that jerk. Luis, could you come over here, please? Later, later. Miguel, any sign of Teresa? No. Does Luis suspect anything? No, he's still going on about how great it is that Teresa's finally over a big infatuation with Ethan. Little does he know. Well, what are we gonna do, Miguel? I mean, if Ethan and Teresa run into each other and Luis is watching... I know. It's like I'm in the middle of a train tracks and the locomotive's coming right toward me. Well, we better find a way to keep Teresa and Ethan apart or there's gonna be one major train wreck. anymore. Okay. So, uh, you lived in Harmony long? All my life. Really? Well, maybe you can help me. I'm trying to track down this girl in town. I really need to find her. Sheridan Crane's room, please. Bastard Jean Luc thinks he's going to be able to talk me into going back to him. Hello? Sheridan, hi, it's Gwen. Oh, Gwen, hi. I am sure that you are knee deep in Brides magazines, but I just have to fill you in on your nephew's latest exploits. What's Ethan up to now? <laughs> At this very moment, he is preparing to compete in a male beauty contest. Our Ethan, can you believe it? Wow, that's really something. Sheridan, is something wrong? I'm all right. Is it wedding jitters? I, I hear they're very normal. My marriage is off, Gwen. There isn't going to be any wedding. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. Sam and I were just going to buy some raffle tickets. Why don't you come along? I feel lucky today. <laughs> Why is that? Did you hear back from the person on the internet? The one in the missing persons chat room? No, not yet. But I have a good feeling about it. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm getting closer to finding out about my missing past. Oh, yesterday was so great, Mom. I wonder what we're gonna see here today. As long as we stay clear of that fortune teller's tent. I felt evil there. Mom, stop talking about this evil. I thought it was cool the way the gypsy and the doll levitated. I wonder how they did that. I don't know. I, I didn't like it. Well, don't worry, Mom. Today we'll stick to normal things. I promise. Don't just stand there like the dummy you are, Timmy. Help me hold down the table. Timmy's trying. Timmy's trying. What is it this time, Tabitha? I told you, that woman and her daughter are back. There for the Timmy was locked in the basement. No way, Buster. I need you to help me find Faith and Charity before they run into Grace Bennett. What happens if they meet? Oh, nothing much, Timmy. Just that you and I die, that's all. Sheridan, I'm so sorry. What happened? Oh, I found out Jean-Luc had another fiancé. 
and that he was only using me to get to the Crane money and name. Oh, Sheridan. There's no reason to be upset, Gwen. It's not as though this hasn't happened to me before. I don't know what to say. There's really nothing to say. It seems I'm only capable of attracting louses and gold diggers. But look on the bright side, Gwen. Things have to get better, because they couldn't possibly get any worse. Come in. Pierre, you have the photo? Yes, boss. Right here. This was taken at the exact moment of the explosion. As you can see, Jean-Luc and his American girlfriend could not have survived the blast. The girl who died in the explosion with Jean-Luc, you're certain she's the same girl who saw us at his apartment that day? Well, she must have been. They were both together at the uh, Jean-Luc... Confirm it. Make sure it was she who was in the car with him. But both of them are dead. This is about to start, Simone. Where's that Ethan guy? They probably realized that he didn't stand a chance and slinked off. We'll give him a few more minutes. You know, I don't see any judges, Kay. Judges? Oh, I mean judges. Well, I had them mingle with the audience to uh, keep their anonymity. You don't have any judges. I know, Simone, but I have to make this look as real as possible. Besides, there is one judge, me. And I already know who I'm voting for. Surprise, Miguel wins the contest and me. <laughs> I can't find your sister anywhere, Miguel. Maybe she went home. I hope so. I mean, if Ethan Crane sees her, he'll probably have her arrested. After everything she's done to him, he must think she's stalking her. But they were all accidents. Yeah, we know that, but Ethan doesn't. You're right, it looks bad. It looks like my sister's deranged. We gotta keep them apart. I'm gonna take another quick look around. Okay. Kay! Kay, have you seen Teresa? Oh, she's probably still in the locker room.